Hi, my name is Marlena Orloff, and I would like to give you a brief overview of my article, Spotlight on Talimoji Laparavec for the Treatment of Melanoma Lesions in the Skin and Lymph Nodes. In this article, I review the investigations that eventually led to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approval of this first-in-class injectable oncolytic virus for the treatment of melanoma. I will also briefly discuss ongoing research into combination therapy. TVEC is an oncolytic virus that is directly injected into melanoma skin lesions or involved lymph nodes. It is derived from a modified herpes simplex 1 virus coupled with a gene that encodes for GMCSF. Further, there has been the deletion of two non-essential virulence genes that make it less likely to cause a sequelae of herpes infection, such as fever blisters. When TVEC is injected, intratumor viral replication can cause direct oncolysis. Further, the focal inflammation at the site of the injected tumor can also lead to enhanced tumor antigen presentation and has the potential to incite durable, local, and systemic anti-tumor activity. TVEC has now been investigated in Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3 clinical trials. In the Phase 1 trial, TVEC, then called Oncovex, was investigated in 13 patients with varied malignancies. TVEC was injected at variable doses ranging from 10 to the 6 to 10 to the 8th plaque forming units per milliliter. While there were no official, complete, or partial responses, some lesions were noted to have become flatter and stable disease was also observed. The injections were noted to be well tolerated and a Phase 2 was pursued. The Phase 2 trial was conducted among 50 patients with stage 3C to stage 4 metastatic melanoma. Of the 50 patients treated, there was an overall response rate of 26%. The Phase 3 OPTIM trial was conducted in 436 patients with unresectable stage 3B to stage 4 disease. Patients were randomized to receive either TVEC or GMCSF alone. The overall response rate in the TVEC arm was 26.4% versus 5.7% in the GMCSF arm. Non-injected skin and visceral lesions were also noted to respond in select patients. TVEC has proved to be a reasonable option for patients with unresectable melanoma involving the skin and lymph nodes. However, given the number of effective agents for advanced melanoma, there is hesitation to use TVEC as a single agent in patients with bulky or visceral disease. In an attempt to broaden its use and effectiveness, it is now being studied when put in combination with such therapies as immune checkpoint inhibitors and radiation. There is also research exploring its combination with agents like histone deacetylase inhibitors to enhance its effect. Further, though the current FDA approval is only for injection into skin or lymph nodes, there are trials investigating visceral injection such as directly into liver tumors. To conclude, TVEC is now an FDA approved option for the management of unresectable melanoma involving the skin and lymph nodes. Ongoing investigations will no doubt further expand the drug's potential in not only melanoma, but also in many other cancers.